Filming for Next Station China, the epic journey across all national rail stations in the country started in 2017. Today, we're finally here with actual clips of our mini stations across the country, starting in the northeastern suburbs of Beijing. Hello from Shuni Railway Station, Next Station China, Station 164. I know a little bit odd to start this from inside the car. But I'm taking an autumn drive and taking a look at railway stations across North China, which in particular have changed since the many years since starting Next Station China back in 2017. Our first port of call is Shuni Railway Station. As Station 164, I visited the station in November 2017. The station hasn't changed much, but the outside was given an upgrade. The station was mostly fabric red and yellow in 2017, but today the new shades are vanilla and grey. The one-of-a-kind station art with squares, rectangles, and lines was kept, and the station name itself was given a much-needed refresh. The station finds itself on the Beijing to Chengde Railway, 45 kilometers away from central Beijing. In autumn 2024, 10 trains call here, including some suburban ones. Shijiazhuang, around 300 kilometers away, is as far as trains will go from here. Today, we're in northeastern Beijing's district of Shuanyi. Next station, Niulanshan. Niulanshan station here, station 418, and I gave the station a visit in the middle of zero COVID in July 2020. Now. By that time, the station had resumed passenger services for the suburban railway line between Tongzhou West and Huairo North. Although the station is also rather special in terms of station building design, because right behind me, just around the corner, is the old station building here at New Lanshan Station. This station building dates from the 1960s, but has been boarded up and is no longer in active use. The new one, though, is pretty much what we use these days to get passengers to and from the trains. Niulanshan Station exited passenger service in more recent times until summer 2020, when it re-entered into service. There are only two trains a day crossing the border to outside of Beijing. Otherwise, it's mostly serving Beijing suburban railways. Previously, it was actually possible to travel between here and Shuanyi Station for just one renminbi yuan, but today. Newer trains also mean higher prices, although not really by much. At this station, we're 54 kilometers away from central Beijing. We've started our trek today with two classic rail stations, but we're ending it for now with high speed. And of course, in this rather impromptu field of corn, there is of course also a high speed line. This one going between Beijing and Harbin, and the next station, Shuanyi West. Shuanyi West started pretty barren in early 2021 during COVID. Today, the station gardens are alive, and more trains are calling here. Although many expats call Shuanyi District home, Shuanyi West Station is quite far away from these villas, almost half an hour by car. But it's not far from central Beijing, just around 22 kilometers away from Beijing Chaoyang Railway Station by high speed. There's been one change to the station, though. The dedicated exits have now exited service, and passengers leaving the train use the departures hall. This station, station 427 for next station China, features elevators, and at that, very elevated platforms above ground level, next to a motorway and highway junction. Please stay tuned. We've only done three stations, and as of mid-October 2024, it's already 457 done nationwide, despite the serious disturbances caused by COVID. It's time to see you at our next station, wherever that might be, on this huge and still growing network.